Okay guys, so finish seven or six by spring. Let's get right into it. So let me show you the items that, th by the way, this is my first update. Before this, I filmed the intro. This is my first update, probably my last one because there aren't many uh, products in this project and most of them are super easy. So it'll probably be my last update. So. Let's get into it and the first item that I finished and I'm so excited and so proud is my Hask Macadamia Oil, macadamia oil uh, for my hair and I use this every day after my shower. I just put it in my hair and it gives me really nice curls in the morning. I don't have to use mousse, I don't have to use anything, sometimes I do. But um, <clears throat> this is what I use and it works really good on my hair. So this is really good and it made my hair, it, I did notice that my hair was a little bit less crunchy and a little bit more hydrated. So probably in the future I'll be repurchasing this or something similar to it. But for now this is gone. Next item that I used up is this sample from Urban Decay for the anti-aging primer. Um, I've been using this on my lids. It lasts a very long time. Um, it took me a while to use this up and um, you just need very little of it. So there's not really a, the, so you're not really going to use it up like in a day or two. So it took me a while, but I got through it and I got a couple more to go on those. Next is my German Logica. Um, multivitamin hand and nail treatment. I use this every once in a while. It looks like it might be gone pretty soon, but there's still a little tiny bit in there. I'm just trying to get work through it because I don't use um, stuff like this too, too often. I just use my body lotion and every once in a while I'll apply lotion to my hands if they feel super dry since I'm always washing them. But um, this is a tiny sample size, so um, there's not much more to it. So that's three down. And let me get to the products that I have not yet gone through. First, first off, I want to talk about the Hello Flawless Oxygen. Little tiny, so cute uh, sample from Benefit that I got from some kind of, um, I think, Ulta order. And this thing packs a punch. Like, it looks so freaking tiny, but trust me, you will get more than three applications out of this. I've been mixing this with um, another foundation that I have because this is extremely uh, yellow for my skin tone and I'm yellow toned but this just it makes me even more yellow so um, I've been mixing it with um, a lighter foundation my pixie foundation that I have and it's pretty good except I noticed that at the end of the day it just like kind of breaks up on me and it looks kind of weirdish so I don't know but when I put it on it looks very pretty it gives me great great coverage I love it um, I don't want don't want to attribute the breaking up of the foundation to this itself it may be because it's mixed with my other foundation and they're different formulas so I'm thinking that's what it is because when I used it on its own it gave me really good coverage and it was just it was great so this is in Cheers to me champagne. So that is the color for this one. I might try, try it out sometime in the future because I think um, this is a good foundation. But um, after I'm done with this, I'm going to keep the little bottle because when I want to travel somewhere or stay overnight or whatever, I can just pump some in here and then just um, not have to worry about carrying my whole bottle of foundation. So um, I thought that was pretty cool. Next I have my Tints and Sass Lip and Cheek Stain. This was another sample that I got from an Ulta order or maybe I got it in a subscription box. I don't quite remember but the point is that it's here and I have it and this was brand new when I started. Right now I am kind of to the halfway point. Um, I didn't really, I could not measure because as you can see it's still when I started it, it was up here like this. It had like this air bubble and I couldn't get it to settle. I'm halfway through it and I I enjoy using this. I'm not even going to lie. I'm getting a, way more into lip and cheek stains, but I mostly use them on my cheek. And this one is really good. It gives me a really pretty color and I put it on after my foundation. It doesn't disturb my foundation and it comes out... Um, I top it off, I when I set my face with powder, it comes, it shines through, it comes through. So I really like this, it's a really good on the go product. If you want to do it quick and don't have a lot of time, 
just put it on and it gives you a really good color. So um, that's it. Halfway done with that. Will I finish it? I doubt it, but I really, I'm, I'm enjoying this. So it doesn't matter. What counts is sometimes in these project pans is a rediscovery of stuff that you haven't used in a while or that you've never used and you find out that you really like them. So that works for me. Next are my other two Urban Decay samples, which is one in Sin and the other one in Eden. I am working my way through Eden and I will start with Sin next. I haven't opened this one. I'm waiting to get through this one, but I use these every day. They are my eyeshadow bases or, or primers or whatever. So these three, I actually counted as one. So um, I finished a third of them and I'll be working on these other two. Next, I have my Lasting Smiles Lip Balm. And this I carry around with me every day um, in my scrubs for work. I use it constantly throughout the day. I've gotten so used to uh, applying lip balms and lip glosses while I'm at work because they keep my lips moisturized so now I have to have to have it so this was brand new when I started it's right there now and it's I want to say two caps um, it is two caps uh, until it's done so now I have a starting point I didn't want to measure it at the beginning because of this I didn't want to roll it all the way down and I have to press on it and it messes things up uh, but now I know that there's two caps worth um, product in here and I can reference back to see how I'm doing. But I think I'm making pretty good progress on this one. I decided to add another um, product in the project since I had already gone through the majority of the products and I just thought why the heck not. So I decided to, to throw in a BH Cosmetics um, pencil, eyebrow pencil. Ah. Uh, I just got interrupted by a phone call. Anyways, I decided to add this pencil. Um, it's from BH Cosmetics, and when I got this pencil, I really, really liked it. It's like awesome. It is a um, slanted pencil, so I used it to outline my eyebrows and to fill them in, and I really liked it. Well, come to find out that it's discontinued. I nearly passed out, but anyways it is what it is so i decided to throw this in here and there isn't much left actually i thought that i was done with this because you know when you start hearing the clicking sound it means that you're done um but it actually it has some product in there let me see if i can get it out oh that's it okay so it's that much left so it's a little tiny bit if you measure it against my pinky this way against my pinky it's like halfway at the halfway point so that's where I'm at right now with this and I, I might as well get it used up by spring because what's the point of just having it there I'm never gonna be able to buy one of these again so sad moment but oh well anyways that is it for my products that those are the products that I've used up the products products I'm working on and I am so glad I always say it I'm so glad I started panning stuff and I started using stuff up because I guarantee you um, about 95% of the stuff that I have panned I dare say 99% of the stuff that I've panned and gotten out of my collection would still be in there waiting I guarantee it and it's just awful it's awful I've gotten better at decluttering I've gotten better at using stuff up and I can tell you guys if you guys have stuff go Throw it into a project pan if you're not using it, if you haven't used it, if you just need to declutter stuff out of your life, out of your collection, just start a project pan. Even if you don't do videos, just gather some friends and have a panning party or something. I don't know. It sounds like fun. It sounds like a good idea. Anyways, that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I will see you in my next update and in my next video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.